In 2014, the Department of Agriculture gave the property behind the Jackie Withrow Hospital to be used for a veteran's nursing home. In 2016, the legislature promised to make it happen and use excise tax from fireworks to fund it. The tax didn't make as much money as intended, and now that lot still sits empty. It's gone un unfunded, and, and we simply need to fund it. And, and we have a plan to do that without raising taxes, without taking money away from other programs, and, and fulfill the promise that we made to the veterans. And that plan involves putting forward an appropriation bill that would request $14 million from lottery surplus, money local delegates feel they could get very soon. If the state was to come up with about $14 million, we can bring in about $26 million worth of federal money to build this facility, which would house about 120, a minimum of 120 veterans uh, that, that are currently either housed in the community, not being housed at all, or having to travel to Clarksburg uh, to receive services. But they say they have to act fast to make sure they get the federal money before any budget cuts are made at the national level. Even though there could be some federal funding coming in, the hospital will be run by the state and not the VA. The way it's set up presently, it'll be run exactly like the Clarksburg uh, Veterans Nursing Home. It is not a federal agency. It's not a part of the VA system. Um, it is a state hospital uh, for veterans. So when the delegates return in January, it's going to be a first day mission for them to secure those funds and make good on the promises made. We keep talking about how veterans, 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 but, but really what happens is when it comes to money, we don't show it. So it's about time we, we stepped up and actually showed that we care about our veterans and get this thing done. Reporting in Raleigh County, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch.